Hadi yol kadar yol çıkacağız. Ciye selamun aleyküm. Can you see my screen? Yes sir. The topic that we are going to start our today's discussion is scientific writing. Scientific writing is a technical form of writing that is designed to communicate scientific information to other scientists. Uh, as most of you have already done research proposals, uh, research articles, research papers, they were all the types of uh, scientific, are they are example of scientific. At the same time, the scientific writing is called technical communication. <clears throat> that is designed uh, to communicate scientific. Depending on the specific uh, scientific genre, a journal, article, a scientific poster, or a research proposal, For example, some aspects of the writing may change, such as its purpose, audience. Many aspects of scientific writing, however, vary little across other communities. For example, uh, writings of physics like biophysics, geophysics, chemistry, analytical chemistry, biochemistry, organic chemistry, biology are the, the discipline within the biology, like physiology, like microbiology, like histology. <clears throat> so, uh, their basic thing remains the same, but uh, they can change, right? Or they can have a change regarding the leadership, regarding the basic layout or the design, but more or less or overall it remains the same. Then <laughs> we have got some hallmarks of uh, hallmarks uh, of uh, what are some important hallmarks of professional scientific writing. It is uh, first of all uh, primary this primary audience is other scientists. That may be at any level, that may be teachers, that may be students, that may be researchers. 
but professionals from science because of its intended audience the students oriented are general audience speakers the definitions and explanations which are often necessary in lab manuals or reports are not terribly used as explaining general knowledge concepts are how routine procedures were performed actually tends to obstruct clarity make the writing wordy and redirect performers to professional talk then the other is other hallmark of scientific writing is being concise and precise what is being precise and what is being concise it means that scientific writings are at the same time uh, they do have economy of words they do have economy of words they use word right that can help save many other words and at the same time precise specialized kind of words are used why because the objective or the goal of scientific writing is to communicate information clearly and concisely and all those features of vocabulary and language like flowery ambiguous wordy and redundant language right it reduces the basic purpose or it mars the basic purpose of the scientific writing that one is using high frequency sort of words archaic sort of words right? unclear words then it must be set within the context of other words because each and every scientific writing right it keeps on building itself over the period of time scientific writing must be situated in and references by means of the piece this context serves various as motivation for the new work being proposed by the paper being as parts of our communities for the new as evidence of the authors in knowledge and experts so scientific writings at the same time they keep on right change if one has got other dimensions to explore other will be exploring on the basis of the same but different dimensions then we have got example and observation right uh, in case of scientific writing right in case of scientific writing example and observation matter the most but sheer example cannot help you uh, as a researcher as a scientist for that you need to have an observation an observation plays the most important we shall be discussing it or we doing it in the later portion because science writing is intended to be entertaining enough to capture continued interest of the potential readers its style is much less somber than the usual scientific writings the use of slang puns and other words play on the english language are accepted and even encouraged to have a difference between a science writing and a scientific writing right is something which is quite considerable quite significant both of the types science writing and scientific writing they have got different purposes and different audience to deal with and here uh, 
as a reference of the book, right? This is a very useful handbook for the successful scientific writing that is written by Janice R. Matthews, John M. Bonnie, and Robert W. Matthews, right? They state scientific writing almost always begin with a question, right? This is the hallmark. This is one of the prominent features of scientific writers. They always have a query, question, or a riddle that they try to solve. And it cannot be, it cannot be answered by our personal experiences, right? For example, you can see here with the, with the help of this example, right? By watching a performance of Shakespeare's one of the best plays of all time, King Lear, right? You can know the characters uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, you can have a knowledge of Shakespeare's language, his characters, uh, his words, right? The stories, right, inner working. But at the same time, if you watch it, an athlete that is running in some competition, you cannot analyze it unless until you know what makes him or what theory is applied on his this kind of static show. So for the sentence, you need to have some experiments. So this is this is the difference of the scientific life and of a science writing. For scientific writing, we need to have a basic question. Why does an athlete run? Or what makes an athlete run? So fast. Right? Then the second quality of all scientific writing is the involvement of scientific method. Right? Scientific method it must have some systematic medical research procedure, right? Then the second thing is the recognition and formulation of a question problem. Then gathering of data through observation and experiment, right? So in all scientific writing, this why? Because this step, this procedure helps to gather the information and then the formulation of hypothesis. All scientific writings do involve all this. Procedure. And after you have tested and confirmed, right, this confirmation or test either results in the form of rejection of your hypothesis are in the form of selection of your hypothesis. It approves, right? And for every scientific writing, you need to have a roadmap. You need to have a roadmap. That roadmap will be systematic research, showing the evidence, right? To collect the data, right? Definitely, there are several, several questions, right? That your questions keep. First of all, is your work reproducing? Can you reproduce it? Have you made a plan for your work? Are what systems have you set up for collection of the data? These three basic questions. Then, definitely, every scientific research has got a structure, right? That begins with an introduction, 
that tries to answer questions like what and how procedure then it does have results then after the results it must have discussion and conclusion then having all these right if it doesn't have this type of structure then it must have a structure like a summary that includes everything of our research, the objectives, the introduction. Right. And the final text. So in our today's session, we try to discuss what is uh, a scientific writing and scientific writing is different from a science writing. Right. So in our today's session, we discussed what is scientific writing, what are some of the hallmarks of scientific writing, right? Then uh, a difference between science and scientific writing, example and observation, right? Then some of the features uh, of a scientific writing, it must involve a systematic research, the recognition and formulation of problem question, then gathering of data through some observational experiment, the formulation of hypothesis, right, testing and confirmation, selection or rejection of hypothesis, then showing evidence, right, and then at the same time, asking yourself a few questions. Is your work reproducible? Right? Then have you made a plan for your work? Then what systems have you set up for collecting your data? Then uh, this, it does have some procedure like introduction, then methodologies, then results then discussion and conclusion, then if it doesn't have a structure like this, then it must have a structure like this abstract that does have God that covers everything within a certain word limit, right? And that word limit includes objectives, aims, right? And some of the summary of the results. So, <laughs> that was all from my side on scientific writings, right? Inshallah, we'll see you tomorrow with our next jump, and that is technically people. We'll see you tomorrow.